Hello and welcome in our new video update. It's been a while since our last one because we were quite busy working on the game. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of uh, review what happened in a couple of last months. Uh, I'm gonna speak about our latest uh, patch and DLC roadmap. And also uh, a couple of interesting news uh, about KCD. Let me start with a big thank you to all the people who bought the game and played it. Uh, it's selling pretty well. Uh, I would say generally better than we expected. Uh, which is very good because we can make another game, for example. Uh, also, the reviews were mostly very positive. Uh, and I really do thank everybody who enjoyed the game. Uh, they were mixed as well. Uh, there are some people who it's not for them, basically. Uh, but generally, there is a lot of people for which it became a kind of a cult classic, which is awesome. Uh, seems that such kind of game was really uh, missing on the market. Uh, people are really uh, wanting something like that to happen, and so we received a really lot of lo lots of lots of messages. Uh, from gamers saying us that this is something they've been waiting for uh, their whole life, which is really <laughs> awesome and I really appreciate it and thank you. Uh, we even won some awards. Uh, <laughs> by, by some weird reason we won uh, Best uh, Fantasy Award <laughs> at the Role Playing Convention, uh, probably because they don't have any non-fantasy award. Uh, <laughs> We are not a fantasy game, but we still won, uh, so thank you as well. We also were uh, kind of struggling with bugs, uh, which is a shame. Uh, I do apologize for it. Uh, the thing is that the game, the open world games uh, have bigger problems than other games. They are more complicated, there's could, a lot of unexpected stuff could happen. Uh, and especially when the game is extremely complicated like ours where a lot of things are simulated and we as uh, the creators have very limited control about what's happening uh, and the game is very long so you play the game for a very long time and when you mess it up enough something kind of happens unexpectedly after 100 hours uh, it's very hard to test this uh, we really would have to play the game every time you fix something we would have to test the game for several hundred hours probably uh, and every time we found something and fixed it, we would have to test it again for several hundred hours. So it's very hard to patch the game, because every time you patch something, it's, there is a risk, uh, it kind of break, breaks every, something else. Uh, so it's almost impossible to test it thoroughly. Uh, we did everything we could. Uh, currently, we are releasing patch 1.5. I would say that this is one of the most uh, like, it fixes most of the issues, generally. Uh, there's 200 bug fixes. Uh, we added cloth simulation for women clothes. Uh, we added an option to kind of uh, pay indulgences in churches to improve your reputation, which was something people missed. Uh, with previous patches, we added new hairstyles uh, and a couple other features. Uh, so we are not only fixing bugs, but also adding some, uh, some new features. And then uh, we would like to release some uh, modding tools. Uh, there's a lot of mods for the game already. Uh, people kind of reverse engineered what we did and are creating quite amazing things, I would say. But we would love to release some of our tools to make it easier for you. So we are working on that as well. And also, we are working on the promised documentary and Combat Academy. So, documentary is going to be a more than one hour long documentary about the whole development of the game. We have lots of materials throughout the development, so it's going to be pretty interesting, I would say. Uh, and uh, then we are working on the Combat Academy, uh, which is going to be kind of a comparison of uh, actual um, techniques used in sword fighting with what's in the game. Uh, we will be doing it with quite uh, respectable um, medieval MMA masters. So there will be several of them uh, telling about different techniques and then we will compare how it's like in real life and what it's like in the game. So also 
probably an hour long uh, movie about how the game uses medieval techniques and what's different and all that stuff. Also, uh, there were already some documentaries released. Uh, guys uh, from Vortex released a documentary about the finishing of the game, which is quite interesting, I would say. Uh, it already has 100,000 views, uh, very successful, and uh, I highly recommend watching it. Uh, we were also visited by guys from Game Inventory uh, who were shooting for several days here, doing interviews, and they are preparing a big uh, documentary about the development of the game as well. And on top of that, later we will release our own with lots of exclusive material that uh, we uh, uh, nobody else have has. Uh, so it's quite interesting to uh, things uh, coming as well, and. I was also, uh, not only me, we were uh, lately uh, traveling the world on conferences, so I spoke at several conferences. Uh, I was, for example, at Reboot uh, Developed, which is one of the best uh, European conferences, and I had a huge, uh, very long uh, uh, talk about the post-mortem of the game, how we made it. Uh, it's available on Twitch, uh, on their stream. Also. This week I was in Poland where I spoke about our historical research, also quite long and interesting speech about how we did our research, uh, who we worked with and, and general the background of our, of our uh, researching of the period uh, that's in the game. So you can, uh, I think this is going to be available uh, on a stream as well very soon. Also we were part of a very cool event, uh, there was a big concert with uh, gaming music, uh, it's played by Symphonic Orchestra, and our music uh, was major part of it. Uh, so we were there, it was awesome, it was, uh, it happened in the same uh, concert hall where we recorded the music, uh, but this time it had uh, 60 people choir as well, uh, which sounded absolutely awesome. And there was a big applause for Jan Walta, who is our musician, uh, standing ovation. It was really kind of touching moment, I would say. Uh, and this wasn't for the last time. We are planning one month con concert uh, in uh, September the 2nd. Uh, it will be a part of a soundtrack festival in Poděbrady, which is a city in Bohemia. Uh, and the tickets are already available. And also it will be the, the whole score of Kingdom Come uh, played by Symphonic Orchestra uh, in a, a big stage. Uh, so something also quite interesting if you want to if you are in Bohemia or Czech Republic, or if you plan to go to go there, you can buy tickets and, and see it for yourself. I think it was really awesome uh, so far what I saw. The first DLC is going to be introduced at E3 in a couple of weeks, and it's going to be released very soon after that. Uh, the more in detailed info about the rest of the DLCs will come later. Uh, also, if you like the game and if you want to support us, please give us a uh, rating or review on Steam or Metacritic. Uh, it's going to be really helpful for us. Uh, and again, thank you very much uh, for all the support. We are getting a lot of it. Hopefully, you will like what we are preparing. Thank you very much and see you soon.